Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. K. This is Eric. Yeah, today is the 5th of December 2021, and the time now is 6.17 a.m. Well, today our topic is talk about the benefits of learning philosophy. Right, before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Yep, and yeah, the uh, today we talk about benefits of learning philosophy. And yeah, actually, uh, um, before, uh, uh, when I was preparing the topic and I, I, I still uh, found that philosophy is uh, something very uh, abstract and I couldn't get, uh, uh, I, I couldn't get the meaning of what it is. And uh, yeah, and after that, I uh, keep searching and then uh, searching for some information. And uh, I think uh, now I have some, uh, some idea about what it is and uh also i i think um it could have a uh, kind of like many definition uh to different people and uh firstly if we look at um uh, some uh, some definition uh, let's say from dictionary it will be something like the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge reality existence and uh, and so on yeah so um so here it is like uh, we uh, we look at the nature of something and then uh, uh, it is like we uh, step back and then thinking about what we are doing what we are counseling uh, uh, so uh, to me, it is just uh, similar to reflection and uh, thinking. Yeah, and uh, during this uh, reflection, and then uh, it may involve some uh, uh, some questioning, some arguments, and then uh, uh, to to the things that you would like to uh, uh, you you would like to study. Uh, and and then I remember one of the example uh, that I uh, came across when preparing this topic, uh, which is, um, uh, yeah, the uh, at least is an example. Uh, it is like you want to go to the movies, and then uh, uh, if you ask the question why we want to go to the movies, and then maybe we can get uh, some. Uh, reason and then this reason we can call them premises uh, and then for for the premises here maybe is like uh, the hot dog uh, which is so in the cinema is delicious and the second premise is you like the hot dog yeah and then uh, with these two premises and then uh, 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 maybe this explain why why just now you say you want to go to the movies and the conclusion here is you go to the movies so now we have premises we have conclusion and then uh, uh, however we can actually try to uh, question and then argue uh, the premises uh, which is uh, just now we say uh, first the first premise is the hot dog is delicious and then, uh, yeah, if we try to question this and argue this, maybe uh, you can uh, find other evidence to uh, uh, to to go against this premise. Uh, for example, you can say, uh, uh, even though the hot dog there is delicious, but uh, it may not be the the most delicious one that I have tried, or I can find. Uh, yeah, uh, this, this is uh, maybe one of the points you can go against this premise. Or you may say uh, 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 that hot dog, um, uh, maybe uh, there is one time when I buy the hot dog and then after I eat it, and then 
uh, I maybe maybe uh, you 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 got something like the food poisoning. Uh, you go, uh, maybe you you got stomachache. So uh, this is also something that go against uh, these kind of things. And then uh, you can also have some disadvantage. Let's say uh, the hot dog there, even though it's delicious, but it is super uh, uh, expensive. Yeah, or you have to queue up long uh, in order to get that. Yeah, and then uh, the second premise is like you like the hot dog. And then uh, we can also uh, argue like uh, beside hot dogs, uh, we also like other things. And then uh, those other things uh, may maybe uh, we, we like other things uh, not less than hot dog. So uh, um, uh, so so we actually question uh, question ourselves uh, whether we really like it or just we uh, didn't eat it for for a long time or what. And then. Uh, uh, not only the premise, we can also argue and question the conclusion, uh, which is conclusion just now is go to the movies. Yeah, uh, uh, if we argue uh, about the conclusion, it means that uh, we can assume the premises are correct. And then uh, that hot dog is delicious and then we really like hot dog. But uh, the conclusion may not be uh, the uh, the only answer, it could be like you like hot dog, you can go to somewhere else to just eat the hot dog. And then uh, uh, you can also just uh, go to the cinemas and then buy the hot dogs and go back home. Uh, you don't have you, you, you don't need to really go to see the movies. Yeah, so uh, these are uh, these are some questions and arguments to uh, to something uh, in a, uh, uh, to something that to some activities that uh, in our real life. So uh, this could be uh, one of the example of uh, uh, the, 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 the reflection that I mentioned just now when define uh, philosophy. And then, uh, of course, this is a very simple, uh, uh, this is a, a very simple things in our life and uh, uh, we have more complicated things in our life uh, which may not be so easy when we were uh, uh, doing the questioning and arguing. And uh, yeah, beside this, I try to apply uh, uh, this uh, 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 this thinking method. And then uh, I uh, also recall one of the examples in our previous conversation, which is uh, the world is gray. And then uh, in that conversation, I remember uh, there is an example uh, which is like the doctor, right? Uh, I I don't really uh, uh, remember every single words, but uh, maybe I change a little bit. Yeah, it is like uh, uh, if we ask our ask a question like uh, a doctor, yeah, this occupation, uh, are they great to the society? Are they doing good? Uh, doing something good for people for the society. And uh, to answer this question, maybe firstly, uh, uh, if I uh, didn't go through uh, deep or critical thinking, maybe I would say uh, yes. Yeah. And then uh, what supports my conclusion? Yes. Uh, the premises are firstly, they save life, they save human life. And then second, they uh, second, uh, they may not save, save your life, but uh, they somehow uh, prolong human life. Yeah, so uh, plural here may be uh, increase the longevity or uh, maybe increase the quality of your life. Yeah, and then uh, with these two premises, uh, it could be uh, more than that. Uh, but uh, uh, right now, I just uh, think of two. And then uh, I come up with the conclusion that they are great and they are doing well for the society. And at here, I can try to argue or question uh, some of my premises or my conclusion. Uh, for example, the premise, uh, we, we argue from the premises, which is like they save life. And then uh, um, they, they save life, but uh, uh, for some cases, uh, maybe they are not uh, really do, uh, uh, doing, uh, making decisions based on they want to save our life. Yeah, maybe in some circumstances, 
uh, they just uh, uh, they they have to care about their self interest. They have to care about uh, maybe the the procedure, uh, uh, the the procedure uh, the, that set it by uh, maybe some authorities. Uh, what they can do, what they uh, couldn't do, uh, even though maybe in some circumstances they found that uh, actually there is a a, a better uh, a, a better options, but uh, maybe um, that could cause them into trouble uh, because they are not following the procedure. So uh, they have to do something to protect themselves. They have to care about their own interests. Uh, 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 more more than uh, uh, I mean before they care about the, the patient life. So um, yeah, this is something uh, going against uh, the premises that they save life, and uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, one of the example of arguing and questioning about the premise. And uh, I I also think of one which is to question the conclusion. They are great. Yeah. So. Uh, when we are con uh, when I was uh, when I'm arguing the conclusion here, I assume that the premises are correct. They save life. They prolong human life. And uh, but what I want to question is, uh, even though they save life, they prolong human life. Uh, uh, maybe they are just uh, like doing their work. Uh, do, uh, they are just uh, uh, doing what they are supposed to do in uh, within their job and occupation. So. Uh, if we think of other occupations like, let's say, uh, the the butcher, the butcher killing animals and then uh, cutting meats for humans so that uh, so so that we can buy the food, we can buy the meat uh, from the supermarket or uh, somewhere else. So uh, if there are no butcher in the world, uh, maybe we would we wouldn't get. Uh, the, the animal so conveniently maybe we have to buy the whole chicken the whole cow and then uh, we have to kill them by our own or what so uh, in in this case butcher is also great so uh, uh, just now go back to the doctor one so they are great um, uh, uh, whether they are great to the society is uh, is actually um, uh, worth uh, reflecting yeah, um, not only doctors are great and other occupations are all great. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, one of the things I can think of to argue the conclusion. So um, yeah, uh, so I think uh, for the topic today, the benefits of learning philosophy, uh, firstly is to, um, uh, to, to, uh, to cultivate critical thinking. Uh, yeah, because uh, for uh, like the example that I gave just now, I actually have to uh, to to think whether something is uh, uh, something is true. It, uh, can it be some other uh, possible answer for something? And then uh, I try to find something that can uh, that can be the opposite, that can be wrong, uh, instead of something. Uh, uh, that we think they are 100% correct. So uh, critical thinking uh, is something that uh, is so so much required uh, in philosophy. So I think uh, this is uh, uh, the benefits, the, uh, the the main benefit I can think of. And maybe uh, some other benefits like uh, forming belief, uh, because if we are uh, uh, thinking about uh, something in our life, and then uh, in that process, uh, after those process, maybe you would come up with some uh, thinking, and then those kind of thinking could become our belief, and then uh, also could, uh, uh, could could become our way of living, maybe our attitude, our belief, something like that. Yeah, so uh, these are my sharing today. And then, yeah, uh, 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 you did define the philosophy, right? And do you know how many fields we have in philosophy? The, the, the main field? Oh, um, I think, uh, yeah, let me guess. Uh, 
uh, how about history? Uh, no, uh, uh, I mean uh, the, the field in the philosophy. The field? How, um, let's say like how many types of philosophy? Okay, oh. uh, let's say for, for example, let's say for example, economics, how many fields we have? A lot with a micro, mm. uh, microeconomics, macroeconomics, mm. and we have behavior economics. We have psychological economics. We have like the, uh, observ uh, maybe the observational economics, the, the the res the, the research economics. A lot, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So mm. this is something like that. So do you know how many major fields, uh, in philosophy. Okay. Um. In this case, I, uh, I have no idea, but I think at least they will have maybe something first dealing with human, and then the other dealing with maybe uh, something not human. Maybe is, uh, the environment or the, uh, the the galaxy, and then maybe, uh, the ex existence of something. So, uh, I think, uh, that, I can think of two. Yeah, just one one related yeah. to human. One is not related to human. Yeah. Yeah, and just now, <clears throat> just now you you use one of the example, and you use one of the model, which is like the premises and the conclusion. Um, if we want to know the benefit of learning, uh, learning philosophy, is knowing what is philosophy is the premises. Um. Uh, yeah, actually, I think yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but is it true? I would say mm, not 100% true. Because even though we are uh, we not sure the major fields in philosophy, we still can guess, uh, uh, guess the, the meaning of the philosophy. But just, uh, but just we couldn't prove that we couldn't ensure that our understanding is correct or not. Mm, yeah. yeah. But through the process, you are still thinking, you are still using your critical thinking, you are still uh, doing some reflections to understand, to understand the, the particular things. And mm. also the field is not, is not like created by God. And is many philosophers they have many, many uh, way of thinking and way of anal uh, anal analyzing, and then because this is too, uh, this is too uh, complicated for us to look at each of them. So we categorize uh, those. We categorize uh, by. Uh, by by field, yeah. Actually, uh, there are there are some fields in the philosophy. This is a major field. We are not talking about the minor fields. The first is the aesthetic. Aesthetic. Uh, what does it mean? Is this is the study of the nature of beauty, art, and taste, and the creation of personal kinds of truth. Yeah. So the key is the personal kind of truth. Yeah, and also uh, the, yeah, yeah, the beauty, art, taste. So this is subjective. Yeah, this is subjective. But what is the personal kind of truth? Mm. And this is the first view. And the second is the epistemology. Epistemology means that uh, the studies. This is studies the the source, nature, and validities of knowledge. So you can think like this is like the theory of knowledge. Yeah, it's trying to understand uh, what's knowledge and how to create knowledge of these things, the nature of the knowledge. And the third is the ethic. The ethic is to study the value, study of value and moralities. Mm. And the fourth is the logic. Yeah, logic is a systematic studies of the form of valid inference and reasoning. And the fifth is the metaphysics. Metaphysics 
is the concern with explaining the fundamental nature of being and the world that that encompasses it. So it is related to the universe, related to our world, related to to maybe you can say uh related to the societies also also could be yeah the whole human so it is like the uh, a bit a bit macro and the sixth one is the philosophy of mind philosophy of mind is studies the nature of the mind so human mind and men mental properties consciousness and their relationship to the physical body particular the brain so it is it is specifically referred to the human because only human have the consciousness. Mm. Yeah, it's not about the uh the animal. Mm. And the last one is the philosophy of science. This is the branch of philosophy dealing with the epistemology, methodologies, and foundation of science. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, so uh, it is. Uh, okay. Uh, epistemology is understand the knowledge and then understand the nature of the knowledge. So, philosophy of science is is kind of like uh, try to. Okay, uh, I'm not very really sure about this, but maybe try to uh, put them together and then. And then, and then put in a law, and then, and then uh, give some give some definition, and then make it become a subject, make it become a really a science, yeah. So make it become a real subject, yeah. And also, there are some the, yeah, but uh, this view this view is I get from the Wikipedia, but of course we have many philosophy view, and also. Many people, uh, all philosophers have, uh, has difference, uh, has difference, like the major field in their mind. Some people think the logic is important, metaphysics, uh, epistemologies, and the the philo uh, the philosophy of science is actually including in the epistemologies. Yeah, and also, uh, one 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 thing is about the anxiology. Anxiology is something like the law. Yeah, it could be the law of nature, it could be a law of economics, it could be the law of psychology, law of history, law of human, law of survival. Yeah, so there's law. For example, plants need suns, otherwise it will die, so it's law. Yeah, and can you falsify that? Is there any plant don't need sun to survive? Yes, if you can prove that, then it is not the law anymore. Mm. Yeah. And for example, human need food to eat. Human need air. Human need oxygen. Human needs to drink water. So this is the law. Yeah. The law of human survival. Can you can you falsify? Is it wrong? Yeah. Uh, you try to find out. Uh, is there is there any exceptions? If yes, so this is no longer a law. And once you get the law, you can use this to to uh, to do the inductive reasoning. So you try to extend the logic, extend the logic to to next to next, and then keep testing it, keep testing it, and then you can get the implications. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And in short, philosophy is. The study of general and fundamental problems concerning matters such as existence, knowledge, values, reasons, mind, and language. Yeah, it's, it's, get, uh, it's a definition get from Wikipedia. Mm. And okay, talk about my understanding about philosophy and talk about some benefits. Yeah, philosophy has many, many fields. And actually, I, actually, I actually focus on the mind focus on the, the human mind wants philosophy of mind so focus on our personal i mm. didn't look at the universe the, uh, for example the metaphysics yeah and what feel related in it here the first is epistemology 
The second is logic. The third is philosophy of mind. Yeah. So this this uh one two three. Yeah, this three and uh, maybe you can also include the the actual uh the axiology. Yeah, the law one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay, the first benefit I can think of is it keep remind us by learning philosophy it will remind us we actually have no idea of many things so what does it mean is actually is allow us to maintain the state of curious this is important yeah mm. and okay what does it mean give you some example uh how human come from yeah why is the conch why is the conch why is the consciousness of human and can you prove this consciousness is your consciousness yeah mm. and also for example another is uh, let's say let's say can you can you falsify the red color you see is actually the same color other people see hmm. yeah for example you see red color yeah we know red color uh and maybe you say yeah red color so like the apple red apple and also like the blood color but do you know that maybe other people in their mind in their eye they see the blood is maybe your blue color yeah mm. and then the sky the sky is your red color mm. just because they learns they learns uh, how to identify the apple how to identify the sky how to identify the blood and then and then other people say this is other people say uh the blood is, is red color so he direct what he see, what he feel, what he think to the to the subject, to the color, classify as as red, but mm. not blue. But how can you falsify? How can you prove that their blue color is not your red color or your blue color is not their red color? You can't. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, yeah. Uh, there are many. Uh, there are many. Uh, problem. Then, uh, there are many other problems. Yeah. Uh, beside of the color. For example, like the language. Yeah. For example, like the. Uh, maybe the the message that uh, that you want to convey, the definitions. Hmm. And even though you try, even though you try to make it percentage. For example, fifty percent. But do you really know what fifty percent in your mind? Yeah, what fifty percent is really in their mind? Yeah, why is why is the idea of fifty percent? Why is the idea of hundred percent? Maybe some people think hundred percent still, uh, uh, still got risk to fail. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we really don't know. We really have no idea on many many things. Yeah. This is this is. Uh, my example is just a, uh, it just a, uh, uh, like the like the eyes appear on the on on the ice uh on the Iceland, yeah. In uh under the sea, they 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 uh they are huge piece of ice mm. under the sea, yeah. So yeah, uh, many things, and not talk about the ethic, not talk about either like, meaning, not talk about like the purpose, not talk about the importance. Yeah, a lot, a lot of things. Yeah, we so uh by learning philosophy, you will know that actually many thing you uh you couldn't have a uh you 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 couldn't have a fixed definition. Many people have have different definition, and it lead to the different conclusion. It lead to the different indication. How mm -hmm. how do you choose the the battle definitions? Mm. So maintain the state of you of the curious. Yeah, this is the first benefit. And the second is this is a new perspective of on thinking of everything. 
for example, meaning, meaning of life, meaning of something, meaning of relationship, meaning of meaning of work, meaning of uh, 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 maybe a meaning of money. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, so it, the what is the meaning? Mm. Mm. And second could be the purpose. What is the purpose? Yeah. And the third is the usefulness. And the last could be the importance. Yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, you, you, you got to have many things. Yeah. So this is the uh, new perspective of thinking of everything. Yeah. So it could be many, many things. And the philosophy has a lot, a lot of fields. Yeah. For example, we came across um, many theory that uh, that that is in philosophy. For example, first one is the thematic theory. Yeah, thematic theory is also uh, one of the one of the philosophy theory. And the second, uh, what is the second? Uh, the second is the thematic theory. Yeah, thematic theory. Uh, we also discussed this. Before, yeah, whether the things is, uh, is words for us to spend time to think. We look at we we look at the the consequence, the, the consequences. If the consequences, uh, doesn't change. For example, uh, if we, uh, let's say, what make the bread, uh, yeah, uh, what make the bread? You may say the the years, yeah. Uh, the yeast, uh, so uh, 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 the yeast, the yeast mm. make make the bread, and yeah, but maybe some people say, oh, this is the 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 ever, uh, sorry, uh, the the evil or the god, mm. yeah, some superstitious, uh, some super power in the nature make the bread, and but does it matter for you, yeah, and the consequence is it becomes bread, yeah, so. It doesn't matter on on this uh on on this aspect. But how about other aspect? How about we, I after I eat the bread? Yeah, if I eat the bread that make from the yeast, or I eat the bread, uh, I add the bread make from the the superstitious nature. Is there any effect on me? Hmm. Yeah. So it yes. Yeah. So this is it lead to different consequences. So in uh it worth us to have the debate. Yeah, so maybe from this our debate, our focus is not on is uh is not on whether the bread is the bread. Yeah, the uh the bread is uh, the bread is the is the bread. But uh, why is the why is the effect why is the impact on our body? Yeah, and we, yeah, we also have a lot of like ethic. Uh, the ethic problem in philosophy, uh, but I'm not going to to, to mention here, yeah, because uh, yeah, uh, this some people some people will say ethic is important, if, and also some people will say no, yeah, it is a choice, it's a choice, and some philosopher also kind of like try to abandon. The, the moral value, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the moralities. Yeah, so this is just one of the perspective. Yeah. And yeah, and then the next one okay, is to uh, cultivate the logical thinking and critical thinking. This is uh, quite similar to you. So you see, uh, even though we not fully understand the premises, we may still get, we may still lead to the same conclusion. Yeah, mm. but the know why inside could be maybe different, even though the result is even though the result is the same. For example, uh, there's a trader and there's an investor. The trader is uh, sorry, I, I don't want to use trader. I use speculator or I use gambler. Uh, let's say the gambler or the speculator he buy he buy a ticker he buy a stock that he or she has no idea on that. He just simply put, uh, he, he just simply uh, uh, 
simply pick one one stock and then he just buy in and then he decide three days later or maybe one years later he will sell this yeah and another is the investor he do a lot of research and then he found that well it's a good company and the in the in the foreseeable future for example within one year the company revenue company profit will increase dramatically and then so but now nobody know that and the investor invest in this and then after one year yeah maybe the stock price uh grows a lot and then the speculator also earn money the investor also earn money now both of them withdraw all their uh and now both of them sell sell their sell their stock and then both of them earn the same equal amount of money the result is the same yeah yeah but inside inside is is different yeah Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, it it remind me, uh, <clears throat> uh, it remind me one of the, uh, one of the classic, uh, one of the classic quotes in in investment. This is the the uh, the quote is like, mm. <clears throat> uh, you are gripping a. Uh, you are holding a bomb. Yeah. Uh, you are holding the burning. Uh, a burning bomb. Yeah, and then you bypass. You bypass the, the fire. You bypass the fire, and you didn't die, after you get out of the uh, after you get out of the fire. Okay, but you still are idiots. Yeah, even though even though you uh you. Even though you haven't died, so you're holding a bomb. You're holding a bomb, and then you see a fire, and then you, you you try to you uh you try to go through. You try to you try to pass the fire, yeah. And then yeah, after that you you still alive, but you still are an idiot because mm. you are risking your life on that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and this is the third one and the fourth one. I think this is, uh, this is, uh, could be quite important for some people, and I I think for me, uh, I would say this is this is also quite important for me, which is the finding the truth. Yeah, philosophy. You you could say this is the, this is the subject, that's, trying to find the truth. Yeah, trying to. Trying to look at it into the detail, yeah, and trying to see the nature, trying to see the fundamental, and this is this is similar to the science. Maybe he make hypothesis and then he try to falsify it, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. So this is my show for today. Yeah. Yep. So um yeah also that's all for my sharing today. Mm. Okay, so that's all for today's conversation. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversations? Please tell us what you think of our conversation. And we are not native speakers we found any vocal room mistake that we make. Please also comment to let us know because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to like subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.